Okay, hello everybody, and we're going to look at a level two spreadsheet today from a level two paper. Okay, and also try and work our way through it. So, first of all, with this specific award body that we're looking at at the moment, exam board, they like you to copy and paste information across they're given to you in a Word document. So, as we can see, we have this Word document here. So, what I shall just do is I'll just highlight that. Right click with my mouse on copy, just take that down, and then I shall just copy and paste that across like so. So I've taken the information, copied and pasted it. I'm just going to quickly just uh, space my columns out like so, so that I can uh, more clearly see what we've got. Okay, so we've got the questions that we've been given here to approach. So Carl needs an information sheet for visitors to an art exhibition. Carl wants you to produce the information sheet for him. Carl has provided the text he wants in the information sheet in a file. You need to prepare other information required for the information sheet. So we've copied and pasted the stuff and we've done the sizing. So task A, the artists exhibiting paintings have agreed to donate some of the money from their sale of their paintings to charity. Okay. Carl needs to know the total amount to be donated to charity okay so what we're going to be doing with that is we're going to be creating a couple of new columns and we're going to be putting the um, information in so first of all we need to be doing this formula around here which is a charity donation from each sale of each painting is the price the painting minus 100 pounds so what they've done is here they've given you um, the information you need to actually start putting the formula together. So let me just label this up, charity donation. Okay. And we'll just resize that. So this is the formula they want us to use. Okay. Charity donation from the sale of each painting is the price of the minus 100. Okay. So start off, we do our equals. And we'll do our sum. I start saying to Excel, hello, we're going to start doing something mathematical. Okay. Now, we're then going to tell it to lock onto F2, which is the price of the item, F2. And then we will minus the £100 off, which is what we've been told to do. Now we're going to close the brackets. Might seem unusual, but what you're sort of telling Excel is, right, I need you to work this out first then we're going to start working out the percentage. So to do that, I then multiply. Remember, asterisk on key eight is multiply. The uh, minus sign, if you have to ever use it, is next door to the zero key on your keyboard. The plus sign is next door to that, or next door to the backspace key. And the divide sign, which is the oblique key, is normally lives down towards the bottom left hand corner, right hand corner, sorry, of your keyboard by the pause or shift key. Okay. But we're using asterisk for um, multiplication. Asterisk, why? Because we have a column X and that confuses Excel. Okay, so we do the asterisk. And then we need to tell it to do times it by 3.25%. Now it's important that you put the percentage in and I'll show you why. Okay. Right, so that is our percentage. Now, if I had not put that um, particular sign in, the percentage sign, we just take it out, that's what will happen. It will come up with a quite a very large figure like that, and that's something that's just sort of flagging your mind or flagging your mind that they're not quite right. Okay, uh, we could perhaps do that. Let's just do that. I'll produce the percentage button, okay, and it sort of again it comes out quite long-winded and won't be what I, we want it to do. So make sure you put that percentage sign afterwards like so. And then it will make sure it will come out with the right, uh, the right figure. Let me just change that back. There we go. Which is 4.1725 there. So we'll just take that back because that's the actual price we're going to actually want. Okay. So we've done that. I now need to just do a drag and drop. So copy and paste that form into every other cell. Now, whilst we're at it, let's just look at something. Again, 
um, it's different font. We want all the fonts to be the same. So I'm just going to click on one item here, pull that painter, and pull that down. Okay, and we're just going to and see it's face face font. It's put the pound sign in, but if you notice, it's knocked the digits off. Now we actually want the money as it was shown to two decimal places. So if I just use that button there, that'll give us to our two decimal places. Okay. So you can see a nice little way of getting yourself around a situation there. Okay, so we've got our charity donation bit here. Okay, so the next set of information we've got to show is paintings that have been sold. So I'm just going to say to column up now for that. Paintings sold. Okay. And it's already put nice the font for us, up, which is good. But before I go any further, what I'd just like to do is a little bit of tidying up. So it's going to make the next part easy to read. Okay. Sometimes you can jump and do this um, just a little bit ahead of time. So that's going to make it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to put the lines in quickly. Okay. So highlight border or borders like so. I'm just going to bold the top there. Okay. Right. Now that for me just made things a little bit easier to see and look at. I don't really remember you've got to do that anyway at some point. So this is a nice little place to do it. So what we need to do now is put um, some information that writings have been sold in Aston Room and Howard Room. Okay. So if I just highlight the column for room, I go across, so I'm on my home, I go to sort and filter, go to filter. Okay. A little arrow appears. Let me just show you that again. I've highlighted the column and I want specifically home in on Tudor and Aston Rooms. Okay. For example, sorry, Aston and Howard Rooms. Okay. Because I need to put the painting sold in. See if I actually had to do that, to pick these four out from all of that, it's going to be quite hard going. So what I can do, if I put in the filter in, I can then knock out what I don't want. And then it breaks down like so. So then it becomes a little bit easier to read. So we need to put these, these four paintings sold. So we've got Grieve at Night. Yep, we can do that. Okay, we then have tower. So find tower. Again, I could actually just knock this down even further and knock it down to the rooms precisely. Summer. Yep. And then we look for joy. There we go. Right, so what I'm just going to do now is just line those across. I'm not convinced in the right font, so I'm just going to do format painter. And there we go. And let me just put the back to left, left again so it all looks a neater and tidier. Let me just tidy the columns up here again. So it's all done. Okay. Um, but what we probably just need to do there is I would actually just space that out a bit because it looks a little bit untidy. Okay. And again we'll just space that out. Okay. So we've now got our filter. So we've actually can show you see where these paintings have been sold. And what I can do is if I put that back to that, then we get the bigger picture. So all that remains for me to do is just to insert my name onto this. Insert. Header footer. Footer. And like so. I can type my name in. That transfers it to all the sheets. Get back to my original view. View. Normal. There we go. And that is all done for you. Thank you very much for listening.